Hi, everybody. It's Javier, and I'm super excited to come to you here with the very first training webinar in 2022. I got a lot of information to share with you, so I'm not going to spend too much time on the intro because we know what this is all about. Uh, without any further ado, let me just go ahead and get going with the information that I want to go ahead and pass on to you. We're going to talk about a couple of things that you know I've been getting questions about that I want to make sure everybody here has access to. So I'm going to be sharing links with you uh, via chat. And for those that are watching us on YouTube, they, the links that I mentioned will be in the actual description section of the video as well. So let me go ahead and make sure that you can see my screen and we can go ahead and knock it out. So uh, we got one more person coming in a little late. That's okay. Let's just go ahead and uh, let them in. And we're going to go ahead and do this. Uh, first of all, I see Rhett really well. So Rhett, can you see the screen? This is a team update. Cool. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and get started. I want to say thank you and again, happy uh, new year to everybody. We're going to get right down to business. I want to start by letting you know that we officially hit our 20th consultant just yesterday. Uh, last night, I did a presentation for Scott Ogata and two guests that he had that are both realtors uh, in the Inland Empire. And it went really well. Michelle has officially come on board already. And the other gentleman that was there, George, is going to be coming on board probably by tomorrow. And so as of today, this is what our team looks like. And so it's exciting because we've all seen it go from literally zero uh, to a couple of potential recruits to our first. And then, of course, now uh, to our 20th consultant. And so it's important that we all understand that it's not enough to just simply, well, I just want to formally welcome Michelle. She's a new teammate that we have here <clears throat> this coming uh, this week. And so, you know, it's not enough to join. We want to make sure that we are commission eligible and in a position to obviously profit from the solar revolution taking place. So I want to just share some news in regards to that. We all know that eventually you're going to need your HIS license. I encourage everybody that, that is part of my team to start the process immediately so that once you do your three training cells with a mentor, you can go about doing them 100% on your own and then eventually become a mentor yourself as well. Something interesting happened. I got a letter just like the one that you see on the screen here uh, yesterday. And it was basically from, as you can see, the Department of Consumer Affairs saying that the people that did my fingerprints did it wrong. And so therefore I have to go back and have my fingerprints redone. Uh, I don't have to pay, but I do have to get this done ASAP. But the moral of the story is that I'm losing time, but it's okay because I'm still working on learning and a bunch of other stuff. But that's why I encourage everybody to get this going ASAP so that you too can go ahead and get yourself uh, licensed as quickly as possible. So the first link I'm going to share with everybody here via the chat room is what I've done before, and yet I'm going to do it again. And it's the link to the application page of the Department of Consumer Affairs on the Contractors Licensing Board as well. So if you check your actual, if you check your uh, chat, you will go ahead and find it right there. We actually just had Anthony Bonilla join us. Uh, he just dinged in right now. Welcome, Anthony. And so, like I said, you want to make sure you go ahead and do this because my fingerprints, not through any fault of my own, but to, uh, due to the per and I kind of saw them doing it wrong, but I didn't want to say anything. Uh, I have to redo them. No big deal, like I said, because it's early on, but you don't want to lose a lot of time. And uh, unfortunately, like I said, they got rejected. And so I'm going right back to the same place to do it as well. Uh, the second thing I'm going to be sharing with everybody is a link to a very, very, very oh, uh, Adebayo says he just did his fingerprints four days ago. Mailed it in. Congratulations, Bio. And that's what we want to do. We want to make sure that we are doing our part as it relates to that. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and send this to you right now. And then I'm going to go into the uh, good news section of our webinar. And the next one that I'm going to, or the next uh, link that I'm going to share with you is going to be to an actual, let me pull it up here real quick. It's to a simple Google form. Uh, I am going to go ahead. Oh, let me just copy this. I'm going to go ahead and paste an actual link in the chat mode that, or the chat box that has a link to the online form you see on the screen. And so what I'm doing right now, I'm prioritizing my time for January to see who I'm going to spend the most time with. And I always go with the people that have somewhere to go, meaning that they know where they're going, they know what they want to achieve. And I never operate a single month in business without me having at least an idea of what it is I need to accomplish in that given month. I call it the possibility projections, or in this example, the January 2020 power goals and projections. We need to have an idea of what we expect, because if you don't have one of these forms filled out, there's not a whole lot I can do for you. Uh, if you're looking to accomplish something, I want to make sure I do my part to help you achieve 
that accomplishment that you seek. And it's super, super simple. It's just a form you fill out on your form or you know, whatever you open up the browser with. And this just simply has your email, your full name. And again, what is your goal for how many electricity bill pickups, the bills basically, you know, the power bills? How many are you going to pick up in January? Me personally, I'm looking to get 10. How many of those are you going to be doing proposals for? I realistically know that I don't pick up 10 and do 10 presentations. That would be nice, but I'm shooting for eight. And the way I do that is by staying on top of my prospects. Because once today, I just got off the phone with somebody who's handing me three. Tomorrow, it's a triplex. And so they all have different meters. And so we're collecting three. So I'm well on my way to achieving my goal of collecting 10. Out of that, I want to have eight of them that I actually meet with via Zoom. I haven't done any in person yet. And then from that, I want to go ahead and make sure that, as you can see here, I conduct the uh, eight presentations. And then that could go ahead and also recruit eight consultants in the month of January personally. And on top of that, to go ahead and have eight ambassadors come into my organization as well. If you're not looking to ever recruit, it's a big zero. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with not wanting to recruit. And I commend you for just simply sticking to sales. And that's cool. I'm glad you do it here. But I want to make sure that I do my part to help you achieving whatever sales you want to conduct. And so as you can see, you hit submit, submit it, and you're done. And this is a very simple thing that, again, you don't have to. Nothing here is mandatory. I like to lead all volunteer armies where we know that we're here for what it represents for us. And so what I'm doing right now, I'm going to go ahead and just send this to you in the chat box. Uh, you, you can just click on it now so it opens up on your browser, but don't do it till after the webinar so you don't get distracted. But again, go ahead and grab it. The link is also on the bottom of the video in the description box if you're watching this on YouTube. And don't you dare go out there into January thinking you're somehow going to magically hit goals that don't exist because you're not going to do that. Uh, having said that, I want to take a moment to congratulate everybody and spread some good news. And so I'm going to open up the actual box here for just one second and congratulate everybody that did something in the past seven days that moved your business forward. I know uh, Rhett has something going on uh, with the uh, investment property. Rhett, you just want to real briefly share with us what you got going on in the last seven days? Yeah, I have one of my um, top realtors uh, called me and uh, she's actually at, um, in the middle or just finishing up a, a, a complete remodel and went to get the certificate of occupancy and they wanted to know where her solar panels were. So she called me up. She says, help, I need help like today. So um, I actually just talked to her a few minutes ago and um, uh, the um, um, uh, county is, is looking at possibly waiving it for her. Uh, she'll know in the morning if they don't waive it. Um, I'll have uh, I'll have a proposal to talk to you about tomorrow, Anthony, because it's a uh, I don't have an electric bill. So I, I'm not exactly sure how to enter that in. So uh, I'll, I'll give you a holler tomorrow on that. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Raiden. That's really what it's all about. Go ahead, Anthony. Uh, to touch on that real quick, if for everybody here, if you guys do not have a utility bill from a home, let's say the homeowner's moving into the house or um, they just built the house, go off of square footage. Go off of square footage, and there's a formula where you can multiply by four, five, or six. Usually it's four for a small family, doesn't use much electricity, five medium sized families, someone works from home use a little bit more electricity and six being big size family, electric cars, pool, jacuzzi, use a lot of electricity. So use the square footage if you don't have a utility bill, then we could work with that. Perfect. Okay. Thank you very much. And, and, and out of curiosity, uh, uh, Anthony, how would they do it? How would Red do it? Let's just say in this example, he does not have an actual, uh, let's just say, bill to upload for the lead. He just simply starts a new lead without a bill. Is that what he does? Yeah, so usually what I do is I have a screenshot of, uh, I typed it on my notes and I, I'll read it off right now. Because um, when you're submitting a lead to your power back office, it's going to ask you for how many kilowatt hours right, they use. So I have a screenshot here that I saved on my desktop and it says, homeowner recently moved into home and does not have a utility bill. I am sizing the system off their home square footage, thanks. And I just saved that. Um, where you would upload a utility bill instead of I, I upload this screenshot and you'll submit it like that. Got it. So then Anthony, Anthony on that. So let's say I have a 1500 square foot home and I'm going to do the middle. And so that's 70 times five is 7,500. So then I divide that by 12 to get the. You could put the entire. So what was that again? 15. So let's say I have 1500. 
square feet. And I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's a medium sized family. Um, okay. So on your proposal, what you'll do, you can divide it by twelve. But what you'll do, you'll do is you'll just put seventy five hundred on your proposal where you have the blue bars and the yellow line. Uh huh. Right. You click somewhere anywhere there, and then you could put there seventy five hundred as the amount of kilowatt hours for the year. And then Got once it. you submit it, it will just divide it on its own. Okay. Thank you, Anthony. Right. And because Red's still in training, Anthony, he would help. He would need your help to do that, just so you know, because he's still in training. All right. Rick, can, I ask, can I ask what county that was in? LA. Yeah, this is LA County. Um, and, uh, you know, the other thing is, I, and I know this is something else that I had asked Javier about. And I think, uh, I think Javier, you spoke to Anthony about this today. Is um, she wanted, she was looking for a lease because she's look, she's immediately going to sell the property. And Anthony made a good point. I mean, whether it's a lease or a, a financing, uh, it's the exact same um, uh, assumption uh, situation. And uh, financing is, is obviously better than leasing. So uh, I talked to her about that. She's totally on board with that. The only issue is she'd much rather the um, county waive it, obviously, because she just wants to get it on the market and get it sold. But um, uh, she's totally okay with... Uh, uh, going for you know it's funny uh, uh, I've talked to several people and um, I think that most companies out there are selling the lease idea um, and I'm not sure exactly why except for the fact that uh, I know in the past the purchases were all tied to heroes and pace that it's such a great thing that uh, our um, company is not has has nothing to do with hero or pace and as I mentioned several weeks ago Rose and I did a lot of research on this and um, it completely fits with all the agencies as far as Fannie and Freddie and FHA, as far as trying to refinance or, or sell, not having to deal with a lien against property and the issues that come with that. So we're excited about that. Yeah, and to touch on that, Rhett and Javier, I think many companies the do the lease because they keep the tax credit. That, that would make sense. Yeah, because um, in fact, this realtor, uh, when I first talked with her about it, I said, um, hey, what do you think about solar? She says, I have solar. I love it. Uh, I'm a big uh, uh, fan of it. Um, and I was going through the whole thing. She said, well, so they're giving you the tax credit? I said, yeah. And she said, well, I didn't di get the tax credit. I said, well, did you do a lease or a purchase? She said, oh, no, I did a lease. I said, that's exactly why. You, do, you don't get the tax credit. They get the tax. And that makes sense now that you mentioned that. So the companies." The reason they want to push the leases is so they can get the tax credit. Ah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Perfect, perfect. Uh, also, in the last seven uh, seven days, I want to thank, I believe it was Anthony as a, Bonilla as well, where Mr. Uh, Ramos went ahead and uh, completed his last part or is completing the last part of the uh, solar installation. Oh, not installation, but the solar contract and loan docs and all that stuff with the help of Anthony. So, you know, one of the things that Ramos uh, was telling me was that it's a lot easier to sell this stuff when you own it, which is exactly the exact reason we want to become our first clients always as if we possibly can. And so I want to congratulate Mr. Uh, Ramos and uh, Anthony, I believe it was you, right? That helped him on that as a mentor? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, thank you. I want to thank you as well for doing that. And in the process, you know, teaching him the, the ropes, if you would, to make sure that he understands what he's going to be doing with his own clients here real soon as well. So congratulations to uh, Mr. Ronald's on a job well done. Uh, he couldn't make it on today. Uh, Scott, or, Scott, are you on? I think uh, he is. Oh, he is. Oh, Scott, are you on? Oh, sorry. I thought you were talking about uh, Mr. Ramos. Oh, so no, no, no. Oh, Ramos, anything you want to add? He's, he's too busy putting hearts on the damn screen. I don't know what he's doing. But uh, uh, Ramos, anything you want to say? He's no, uh, or, or just to add maybe a thing or two, obviously, with Anthony, he simplified everything and, and just made it so easy, man. Very self-explanatory and... and I mean, I'm sure you've mentioned this in the past where it's like you're, you're almost dumb if you don't do this, you know? And so it's it's that obvious that you got to do this. Perfect. Yeah, and, and I'm with you. I mean, that's why I'm saying that this is just, uh, in my opinion, the ultimate opportunity to, you know, again, not distract you for whatever else you got going on, but to compliment it, which I'm going to talk about in just one second. So congratulations to both of you. Uh, Scott Ogata, he's not on the call. He couldn't be on it right now, but I want to, on his behalf, congratulate him. He's putting me to work, like I'm telling all of you. 
invite people to a presentation and I will conduct the presentation for you via webinar. He did just that yesterday. We were, uh, it was like, I think seven o'clock or whatever it was at night. Uh, and both of them that were on the call, they're both realtors, they're both coming on board. Michelle already signed up and is actually already coded. Uh, yesterday, she got her code number late last night and I already welcomed her on board. I'm gonna be doing a strategy session because what I like about her a lot is the fact that, you know, she's like she says, she's not here to just kind of mess around. She's not here to make a little money. She's here to make a killing and we can do that here. And so I just wanna congratulate her. Uh, George is in the process of coming on board as well. So I wanna congratulate him uh, also for a job well done. And I know that uh, Scott got to find, uh, signed his final loan docs as well. So congratulations to him. And then I turn it over to you. One of the things that this company does not provide us with is the numbers on what our team is doing. So I for, forgive me for if I don't bring up uh, anything that you've got going up in the last seven days, any good news from anybody, recruits or baby production, or maybe bills you picked up, something to share with the rest of us. Um, interrupt me, because I, I wanna also acknowledge Walter. Walter's doing a great job. He timed his loan docs are ready to go. He has actually a client in San Diego who is doing an all cash deal. She's just straight up paying for the, the solar system. So I wanna congratulate him as well. And again, our team is well on its way to the kinds of things I like to run. And of course, I only like to build uh, successful and profitable teams. Uh, that's what I like to do. I don't like to mess around with people that are getting ready to get started all the time. I wanna make sure that again, you're putting me to work, letting me do the heavy lifting for you to help you do just that. Any other good news from anybody? All right, well, if not, we're gonna continue and I congratulate and I thank everybody who did their part in the last seven days. So don't let next week come and you don't have anything positive to share. That's a big red flag. You gotta do something in the next seven days that is worthy of sharing with the rest of the team. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna share with everybody is the link to the Power of Business Plan. I'm only gonna focus on one thing because this goes hand in hand with the Google form. The Google form just tells me who I should be spending time with in the coming weeks to make their goals a reality. But this is more hardcore. This goes deeper and talks about you, the four freedoms that everybody's looking for, either time, location, financial, or inner uh, freedom. And so I'm not gonna get too much into this, but this is the part that I do want to focus on. This is all the steps and so on, but here's the part that I want to go ahead and spend two minutes on because this is where it starts. Your goals, whether it be life goals, whether it be you know wealthy, whether it be business goals and so on, Great. How many people do you want on your team? How many projects do you want? Because eventually it's going to come into this right here. And this is where we start to break down success and income. If you do this plus this, you'll always get that, which is money. And so this is the part that you're going to have to look at. And I don't care if you're running a multi-billion dollar business right now or uh, you're unemployed. You're going to have to do the same things. And KPIs are going to play an integral part of that that I'm not going to get into. Uh, anybody know what the KPIs are? Because if you don't, I'm going to ask you to go read the book. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Anybody, anybody know what the KPIs are? You got to be a student of success. You have to become a student of the business. You have to become a student, period, so that you can understand how simple. It's never easy. I want to emphasize that. And I want you to confuse it, that Javier said this is easy and I'm broke. I'm saying it's simple. If you put the right foot in front of the left foot and then the right foot and then the left, that's called walking. That's pretty simple. But a lot of people, it's not easy. Anybody, any any tries? What are your, your KPIs? Anybody? All right, well, I'm not gonna make this longer. Uh, the KPIs are pretty simple. They're key performance indicators. You show me your KPIs and I'll show you what your chances of success is. And I have no problem telling people they're in trouble. I have no problem telling people that they're probably not gonna make it because the KPIs are not there. They don't lie. Now, I, I think everybody's destined to win. I think everybody eventually, I think everybody's great. Everybody has potential but potential is only as good as what you do with it. And so I'm telling you right now, if you don't know what KPIs are, you better embody that. That has to become you. And I'll give you an example. In the month of January, very simple. You're, we're gonna have week one, week two, three, and four. And here are the key KPIs that we're talking about. Conversations. Are you talking to people? I was leaving, uh, what was it, Christmas Eve, uh, my mom's house. We were there for Christmas Eve. And on my way out, my brother came out to, I don't know, pick up a bag or something from my car. And I told him, hey, I wanted to talk to you about something. Uh, he goes, what is it? I go, hey, I just wanted to let you know that I partnered up with this great company called Power. And it's a pretty cool, simple business because he works at a supermarket full time. I go, the best part, it doesn't distract you from your job. It rather complements what you do because it allows you to help people save money on their electricity. It's for homeowners, of course, and 
pretty cool. I'm saving over 50% on my electric bill by going solar. And I'm getting, and so on purpose, I said, you know what, it's too much. But the point of it is that if you're just an ambassador with us, we pay you $1,000 when we install a system for every person you refer. I'll talk to you later with greater details. And he started to ask questions and I knew I had them because at that point I refused. And I said, look, look, the car's open. I got to get going, man. But the point that I'm making is that I'll give you a call later on or maybe do a Zoom with you because I think you're perfect for this. And that's, I for, I'm telling you, I swear that's all I told him. And I forgot about 30 minutes ago, he called me. He's like, hey, I got my first client. I go, client for what? He goes, the solar. I'm like, oh, shit. I go, how? What do you mean? He goes, yes. And he tells me the lady's name. I go, oh, I think I heard of her. She's got three properties and she's always complaining about the electricity. So I told her that uh, she goes, I don't know if we can put one system for all of their, her uh, units. I go, no, no. She was, there's three houses. Yeah, they're, they all have their own meter. I go, so it probably would be three. I go, let me, again, I'm not going to lie. I'm learning. Let me find out. She's like, okay, well, how soon can we, I go, well, do you get, did you get their bills? She says, no, but I'm waiting for the pictures. I go, well, just make sure you get all pages. And what I'm saying is that that little 30 second conversation I had with him that I forgot about, he did not. And that's what we're talking about, a conversation. A conversation is that seed you're planting that might yield fruit or bear fruit in a week, a month, a year. But if you know how to push the buttons in people's mind, it will bear fruit eventually. And so that's why I was like shocked. And literally, I was pumped up before I got on the webinar. Because I said, damn, I got three already out of the way. And I didn't have to find them. And yeah, so- Amir, Amir that's, the, that's called the takeaway close. And women have been doing that to men for years. Oh, my and God. Obviously, it works, right? So. It does, man. I got three kids. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I, I agree. And so conversations, you need to start talking to people. And so anyways, so that's step one, uh, or, or that's one of the things, or, or KPIs. But then we're talking about bills. If all you're doing is talking to people and never collecting a bill, that's not going to help you. We're going to need the bill. So that's another art you need to develop and work on, because it's both an art and a science. And then presentations, the beauty about presentations here, you will never do them alone until you want to do them alone. And so Scott Ogata, probably the quietest, I've known Scott since March 20th, to be more precise, of 1995, when we were both on that, call it the black line at the police academy together, 20, you know, 25 years, March 20th, 1995. And I was wondering how the hell did he become a cop? Because he's so quiet. He's the quietest cop, the quietest person you'll ever meet. He just doesn't talk. And with the webinar that I did for him last night, he probably said eight words, just introduced them. And that was it. And I did all the talking and they're both coming on board. So if Scott can do it, I know you can do it. It's just a matter of having the will. And so the presentations can be by you, can be by your mentor, can be by me. I'm not a mentor, but I'll, I can mentor you into building a massive team if you want to all day long. And then, of course, the last one, which will take care of itself, is the contracts signed. If you do enough of the first three, number four will always take care of itself. If you talk to enough people, you collect enough bills and you do enough presentations. If you notice in the goal sheet that I have for myself, I don't care about contract sign. I had zero goals for contract sign for last month. And yet a bunch of them came in from our team because I've learned that already. If you do enough of one, two, and three, four will take care of itself. And there's so many people running around looking for contracts. And the reason that they can't get any signed contracts is because they're looking for them. Focus on one, two, and three, and number four will take care of itself. So what are your goals for this week's? What are they? And then, of course, what you need to know is what are your strategies? What are your strategies? How are you going to go about it? Very simple. Call friends. Call family. Talk to people at work. I don't know. I don't know how you intend to do it. But you better have a plan. And that's where this comes in. And so what I'm going to do, in case you don't have it handy, I'm going to, in the chat and in the description uh, section of the video, I'm going to go ahead and send you the link to this exact same business plan that I have here before me. And I just went ahead and did that. So I'm going to just fly through the rest because I'm not going to sit here and give you this. This is part of another training that we can do another day. If you really want to step up your training, I recommend you attend the live event we're having in Downey this coming Saturday uh, from 10 to 11 a.m. is for first time guests. So if you're trying to recruit somebody and, and they want to see it first, bring them down this Saturday from 10 to 11. And then the training takes place from 11 to, to 2. So if you don't have any first-time guests, well, show up anyway so you can get re-recruited into the business if you would and uh, and stick around for the training or stick around for half of it or whatever whatever you want to do. It's okay. If you can't make it, you can't make it. It's not being recorded. Yeah. It's, not, uh, it's not being recorded and it's not no, being uh, 
place via Zoom. So you might be just simply uh, missing out as it relates to that as well. And so anyways, I just went ahead and muted him. Don't worry about the background noise uh, to do that. And so anyways, this is the actual uh, manual uh, business plan that I love. All the hurdles that you can possibly come up with. And the reason it's so important to put your hurdles up here up front on January 1st or this week is so that you don't allow an excuse, if you would, to trip you or a hurdle to trip you. I know that for me, distractions is that the fact that I'm running a couple of other businesses could potentially be a distraction. So the way I deal with that hurdle, I compartmentalize my time. Wednesdays, especially Wednesday nights, are nothing but uh, power. And the first hour to two hours of every morning is nothing but power for me. And then I just switch on and on and on. Next week, I'm going to be in Atlanta for the financial services side of the house. And we're going to do that like you wouldn't believe. Part of the reason I called all my leaders to Atlanta and I'm going to be there is because I'm leaving nothing to chance. We need to break a billion dollars in uh, life insurance uh, this year. And we're going to only do that if we're focused. So I'm telling you, if you identify potential hurdles, you will beat all the challenges because you will be ahead of the game versus most people that just simply react to the challenges that are in their life. And then lastly, I want to also share with you one more thing that I hope I hope pops up in your actual uh, chat box. And I'm going to show you what it is right now as I share it with you right here. And this is a template. If, you're, if you really want to see how well prepared you are, if you really want to get a sense of what your chances for success are, do this. And then it might scare you and you quit or go away or it sets you on fire like I hope that it does because it did it for me. Here's a very simple, simple personal business worksheet. Now, can you, Brett, can you see the worksheet, Excel? Okay, cool. And so as you can see on the upper left, these you can actually customize, okay? So my question to you is, what are you looking to make this year in power? And if you have to think about it for any, any more amount than a second, you're behind. You can't do that, guys. We're already in January, the 5th, for God's sakes. This should have been done last month. So how much are you looking to make? Now, I don't care if you tell me 10000 200000 or $2 million. I, I can't answer that for you. But I think most people would say, hey, two hundred grand. i am on track. I'm on track. And so in this example, all I have here, and I'm going to make this a little bigger so hopefully you can see it a little better. Let me just go in here. Well, maybe I can't. But anyways, on the... On the left-hand side that you see here, let me see if I can do it like this. Okay, they got it. Okay, so as you can see here, 200,000 is my goal, 200,000. Let's just say we take an average commission of 6,500, which is fair. Now, people tell me, actually, it's a lot higher. Actually, listen, I, I don't want to do some pie in the sky stuff. Let's just say, Anthony, is it reasonable to assume a $6,500 sale in California? Okay, 6,500. Okay, we're not going to uh, pump it up too much. And then the question you have to ask yourself is how many days of a week are you willing to put into the business? And that's tough. Not how many, how many days a week are you going to think about the business or how many days a week are you going to wish about the business? Me, six days. Sunday is usually family day unless something really, really pops up that I have to handle, then no big deal. I do that. My wife is on board with that with me. We know that we prioritize ourselves first, our family first, our God first and so on. But there are times where, you know, and I'm in the middle of a jam and, or someone's in a jam and no big deal. I call you, text you, you text me on Sunday. That's fine. But for the most part, six days. Now, I'm going to start with Anthony. Like in this example, outreach to conversation. So we're going to start from the bottom up for that particular box. Outreach to conversation, meaning what percentage of the people that you reach out to do you actually get to talk to? And this can take on different forms. If you're distributing flyers, it's going to be a lot lower than if you're calling your family members every Saturday night type of thing. So let's just say you're, you you have a outreach to conversation ratio of 60%. So 60%. Now, from those conversations, how many of them convert to you collecting a bill? And you got to be realistic with it. If you're going to tell me that you're shooting for 100%, you're a fool. I, I, don't, I don't mean no disrespect. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say it that way. I'm just simply saying that you're not being realistic. Let's put it that way. And you're setting yourself up to feel bad uh, and quit. Most of the times, most of the people that quit is because somebody hurt our feelings. Somebody said no. Somebody said boo. We can't do that. We can't fall into that crap. So 10%, is that reasonable? Anybody? Especially with the cameras on, 10% or oh, the people you reach out to can give you a bill. That's pretty cool. Some of you, I know, Vanessa, uh, obviously Anthony, I know Rhett, you're going to have a hell of a lot higher than that. I, 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 I understand that, but let's just say 10%. Bill to presentation, and that's something that you do control. Because if I have a bill, 
I will present to 80%. That doesn't mean they're going to buy, but if I get their bill, and that's the whole purpose and the beauty of this business of collecting bills, because if somebody doesn't give me a bill, I know they're not serious. So I don't put them in my, hopefully this is my mortgage payment next month box, because it's probably not going to happen. We need the bill. So if they give me a bill, there's about an 80% chance that we're going to have a presentation. <clears throat> Again, I'm not saying they're going to buy. Next one. So uh, Anthony, from the people that you present to, like a form, formal proposal presentation, webinar, in person, or whatever, what percentage would you say buy? What would you say? For me, luckily, it's been one out of three have gone solar. Oh, it's a 66%. So to say that 20% would do it, it's kind of ridiculous. Or not really ridiculous, but I mean, it's low. I mean, now you're a seasoned vet, and I respect that. But mm -hmm. so even if you say you're only going to bat 200, right? Only 20% are going to do it. So what does this tell you? As you can see it down at the bottom, hours of uh, work per uh, hours worked per workday on personal sales equates to 2.38, about $269 of what it's worth. Now, here's the last part that I want to share with you on the right-hand side, and I'll give you the link so you can do your own numbers. So, uh, so that means that on an annual basis, you're going to have to sell 31 uh, projects. In presentations, you're going to have to do 154. Uh, the utility bills collected are going to have to be 192. Conversations had, it's almost 2,000. Outreach is around 3,000. Now, there are ways for you to compress that. I love marketing online. I can reach 10,000 people in, in, in a week with my social media campaigns, my email campaigns. So I know it can be done. So there's different ways to do it. There, I'll give an example. If you can see my screen, I'm working with Bill, Dr. Bill, I call him. This gentleman right here, where I get all my email lists from. Now, the good news is they have a full service email marketing. So I have 170,000 realtors that I'm usually sending out emails of 5,000 a pop. This is going to pump out 700,000 emails for me. So I know I'm going to get a bunch of no's. It's a bunch of them are going to ignore me. But about 100, I was telling somebody, we're going to have 300 people on our team by the end of March. They're like, you're crazy. I'm like, well, baby, I know something you don't know, uh, which is how to market on a larger scale. And so just because it's impossible for you doesn't mean it's impossible for everybody. And again, if I would have told you we're going to have 20 consultants uh, in our first 30, a little over 30 days, people thought I was crazy too. But wait till we light the fuse, which we already lit it, but a lot of you have not uh, lit the fuse yet. And so what I'm getting at is that going back here, you can, that, see, when, you, when I look at reaching uh, or having 2,000 conversations, that blows me away almost to the point where I cannot do that. I just cannot do that. So if you think or you know you cannot do that, we'll go back and reduce the income to maybe 100,000. Go back and that'll bring all the numbers down to a, something you can digest if you would. Now, if I look at this at 200,000 a year, but when I break it down on a monthly basis, that's only about 16 bills I have to collect a month. That's not too bad. That's about four uh, a week. My question is what on earth are you doing your whole day? I mean, if you're only doing four a week, when you told me you're going to work six days a week. And so as you can see, it breaks down to, you know, uh, four a week, which is 0 0.6 a day. So it's not even one a day. A lot of people will look at that and say, you're crazy because I can do that. I can do two in a day. Okay, well, then that's what I'm saying. Knock out two. You have the rest of the two weeks off. Uh, next two weeks are going to be off. And so the beauty of having something like this is a possibility projections of just what is possible and what it takes to do that. Now, I'm here just so you guys know, I'm not here for the, uh, for the income of uh, selling uh, the, you know, the systems and all that. I'm here for wealth. I want to go down in power, not the guy that recruited a bunch of people or sold a bunch of systems. I want to build wealth. I want to be the one, like when you talk of EXP, I know a guy that has $10 million in shares of EXP. I know people that have $50 million in EXP. That's what I want to do. I don't want, I don't need the money. I'm going to reinvest every single penny into stocks because as you can see here, in just year one, let's just say it's worth 25 bucks a pop. Your first install, you're going to get 25 of those options. You hit your first goal, which as you can see here, it's only on year one and two. So you better do it. It's year one. Don't waste that. That's 250. Potentially that's around seven grand. And so what I'm getting at is that this is just stuff that they gave you. I'm not saying that you earned it, that you bought or that you whatever, which is just an incredible thing. And so that's why I'm saying, so I'm going to go ahead and send this to you. Now, this is not mine, just so you guys know, before you say crazy Javier's inventing Excel spreadsheets and all kinds of lies, I'm not doing this. I, this is from Power, just so you guys know. This is directly from Power. 
And I have two people, they tell me there's no such thing. I'll go, okay, let me, okay, there's no such thing. Uh, let me go back over here. And when all of you can do this by going here, and when you see what I have here under the KPIs, you see there's just KPIs right here, income and activity template, click on that bad boy. And it's gonna take you right back to where we were. It's right there, it's right there. And so anyways, as you can see, you have to understand and you have to tell yourself, because I'm under the gun with my wife. She knows what I'm capable of doing both good and she knows what I'm capable of achieving both bad. And so she's like, man, we got to do this. So she's going to be there Saturday, man. My boss is coming with me on Saturday to the event in Downey for only one reason. She's with me and we're going to do this. We're going to do this on a large scale. And so that's why I'm asking you guys to join me and consider doing this on a large scale as well. Uh, what I'm gonna do is lastly, just share with you the importance of everything I just shared with you. Let me see if it comes up here and you should be able to see it now. There you go, uh, which again is the business plan. So I would encourage you to just read the whole damn thing. It's only five minutes if you wanna really read it, but something will eventually speak to you. And for me, nothing speaks to me more than the part with the KPIs. That if you're not doing that, buddy, just give up or reduce your quote goals because they're not goals, they're wishes. So for me, if I say, look, I'm going to bring just 200,000 my first year just to try it out type of thing, it better be 200,000. It will be 200,000. Otherwise, if I do everything that I'm supposed to and I don't get to 200,000, I'll just quit and go somewhere else where it is possible because at that, I'll know that the company's the problem, not me. 99.99% of the time, it's us. And so that's why I'm asking you to please consider buying into what I'm sharing with you, that it's not my material, by the way, like I told you, it's strictly from uh, power as well. Uh, any questions from anybody about anything, any questions, issues, problems? Uh, I really want to huddle everybody here to address anything that might be keeping you from achieving your goals. Any issues from anybody? Questions? So, anything? Javier, where, where is the event going to be? Uh, located uh the Downey. event is in the city of Downey. it is sold out i spoke with jc and he gave me a few spots that are off the book so do me a favor if you did an rsvp or if you saw the email that said that invited you text me and i'll send you the address via text um because like i said the, the whole point of these events just so you know i get it some people especially realtors open house i get it but for me the reason i go out of my way to be at these events is because it literally collapses six to eight weeks of learning into two, three hours. No, you know, I've already uh, RSVP, but I think I'm going to bring my wife. Sure. With, so Just bring her. If you already RSVP, just bring her along. Don't worry about it. If you have any issues, let me know. Uh, okay, but I, I didn't get the address and all of that. So you're going to... It you should be in the Evite, uh, but I'll, I'll pull it up here in just one second. Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, anybody else, please? Any questions? You mentioned 10 to 11 a.m., um, only for new people or something like that? Yeah, 10, 10 to 11 a.m. is going to be the opportunity presentation that J, uh, Jonathan, uh, Jonathan and JC are going to conduct for first-time guests, people you want to recruit as consultants. So that's from uh, 10, uh, 10 to 11. And, uh, and then after, at uh, 11 is the actual training for existing, existing uh, what do you call, uh, agents with power as well. And the new invitees can stay, right? They can if they want to. Okay. As long as they don't get back up because they're going to lose their seat. So, yeah, as long as they just sit down and stay there, they're more than welcome to stay if they want to because eventually the whole purpose of this is that they're going to come on board as well. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Anybody else, please? Please, anybody. All right. Well, I'm not going to make this any longer, but I just want to make sure I don't cut anybody off because then people say, man, you were talking too damn fast. Uh, no, I want to make sure. But again, uh, we give everybody the opportunity to ask away. Um, last call for any questions from anybody. Anything that anybody wants to add? All right. Well, all the links that I mentioned are in the are going to be in the description section of the box. Uh, uh, also, please keep in mind that we are going to continue the webinars. A lot of people have been telling me that they get a lot out of being on the webinars every Wednesday because they're in the evening. Power does a lot of events, but sometimes they're in the daytime. So it, go to whatever you want to, but I'm going to continue these for at least January until we get everybody even more settled. Uh, nothing is more important that when somebody comes on board, they complete their onboarding training or certification, as we call it, to make sure that their dashboard opens up 
So before you give somebody too much information, let them know how important it is for them to complete the training so their dashboard opens up and they can actually upload leads and then we're off to the races. I just can't tell you how excited I am uh, to see so many people doing so well so early on that we are going to be a true powerhouse. And it's not that I want to be better, just so you know, than, oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry, here's the address in the chat. But thank you, Anthony. Uh, the Super Saturday address is there, 9040 Telegraph Road, Downey, 90240, and parking located in the back of the building. Just so you know, I believe it's a Remax office as well. So if you see Remax, you're in the right place. Um, and it's in the, it's a power slash Remax office. So make sure you are there. I'm going to be there. Um, and so, you know, I encourage you that if you, you know, have the time to go there, but make sure you attend with the intention of applying what you learn on Saturday, on Sunday, and then on Monday, and so on. Don't be a student. We, I, I hate running schools where people just come to, quote, learn. And to me, I always tell them that education without implementation is really just entertainment. And I don't want to see anybody get entertained. I want you to get empowered. And when you are empowered, you take action with what you learn and empower other people. And that's the way that we all win together. Last call for questions, comments, or concerns. If not, I just want to say thank you for everyone that all that you questions. do. And uh, go ahead. Any questions? Yes, I have a question, uh, Angelica. Um, for the Zoom, it will be solar. Let me see. What was it? For, uh, what's, 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 for which one? It says Zoom will also be available. Here is the ID number. For Super so, Saturday. Oh, oh, okay. For yeah. Super Saturday, oh, so they're going to do a Zoom. Okay, you yeah. can go to Zoom, and that's the ID number. So you're going to go to Zoom.us, is the yeah. portal, and then it's going to tell you what's your ID number, and that's the ID number you plug into your computer or your browser right there. Did you say Zoom.us or Solar? Zoom. No, 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 no. Zoom.us is okay. where you go. And then from there, it's going to ask you for an ID number. You type in 506-07-8090, and it'll let you in. I awesome. stand corrected. They do have a so I was not aware of that. Uh, and like I said, if you can't make it in person, at least make it in via Zoom. But I would encourage uh, you, if you can make it down there in person, uh, do so. All right. Thank you. Thank you to everybody. Anthony, thank you for all that you do to help our team out. I really appreciate everything. And I just challenge everybody to go out there and make this coming week the most productive week of your power business. And again, as a true leader, never leave anything to chance. Thank you so much, everybody. Good night. Stay safe. And above all, stay healthy. Good night.